Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mari, for those of you that don't know me. And today we're gonna be doing a vision board for the year 2023. I asked you guys on my Instagram if it wasn't too late and a lot of you guys said that it wasn't and that you guys still needed to do yours. So if you haven't created your 2023 vision board, I'm hoping that you create it with me tonight. I have a glass of Pinot Grigio, so if you're old enough, of course, grab yourself a drink um, or a snack and let's get started. So I went ahead and bought like this pretty decent sized frame um, from Walgreens. I want to say it was like $16. Um, while I was there, I also picked up a few more things. Obviously, you're gonna want to pick out like your bulk of photos um, I'm gonna go a little bit more into like how do you find these photos and if you're doing it digitally How do you like go about that as well? Um, but for now, I just want to make sure that I cover the basics as far as like what you need to create your vision board if you want to do um, Like a physical one that you could frame or just like thumbtack it to your wall or whatever so yes, um, you're gonna need your pictures, you're gonna need tape or a hot glue gun or just glue in general. Um, I think I just prefer tape, just in case I wanna like move them around. I think it's just a lot less messy, um, but yeah. And I actually also picked up this really cute um, diamond pen just to like set the mood because this year what I wanna do is I wanna write behind each and every one of these photos and kind of just manifested into my life whether that be like this year i'm gonna make a million dollars so you can really write whatever um have fun with it at the end of the day you can manifest just about anything that you want in your life of course you just have to have the right attitude grab yourself a pen if you feel like doing something similar to that um by any means you don't need to do this but that's just what i want to do um just because i've been doing vision boards for about like three or four years now um, and I just want to take it up a notch. So I already have a vision board saved on my iPad and my laptop I went on Pinterest and I just chose a bunch of photos I broke down my vision board into four different aspects of my life which are health lifestyle love and finances so you can choose your priorities for this 2023 year um, it's different for everyone of course because at the end of the day you're going to be seeing this vision board and i really hope that it resonates with what you are trying to achieve this year um, but yeah as far as mine go um, those are those are my top priorities for this year so the purpose of creating a vision board is so that way you're able to manifest your dream life it sounds pretty like cheesy but if you see your vision board every day if you're working towards a goal every day slowly but surely it will become a reality and so that's really what i get from my vision boards it gives me inspiration it gives me motivation it makes you work harder for those dreams that you want to achieve lifestyle that you want to live and all that good stuff so we'll jump right into it um again like i mentioned i have my bulk of photos right here i printed them out at walgreens i actually like made a little album on my phone of all the photos that i wanted to print and then i uploaded them to the walgreens website and um i was able to do like a pickup order so by the end of my work day like i just stopped by walgreens and my photos are ready and that's where i also picked up this frame and the pen and the tape so if you don't have scissors already you're obviously gonna want to buy some of those too oh i really like this frame again i got it from walgreens it's like a plastic cover so that way you don't have to worry about it like being heavy or like the gloss ever breaking on you that's really nice you guys have the option of getting a frame or not if you want to like ball on a budget all you have to do is buy like a white poster or it doesn't even have to be white if you want to make it colorful buy a colorful one i know i bought one that had like sparkles like on the corners so really just again make it your own because this is a vision board that you're going to be seeing every day um but yeah i'm because i'm using this frame i'm just gonna like reuse the the paper that came on it just because i don't want to like I didn't want to buy a poster just to put it in here if it already comes with like something that I could I could use as a 
a base, you know what I mean? So if you don't want to do a frame, just buy yourself like a dollar poster, white poster, um, and you could also use that. I know that, again, in my college years, that's all I did, and I just thumb docked it to the wall. So that's one option that you guys can do. I have my iPad pulled up with my digital vision board. I'm going to try copying that same style just because I already have it as my background on my laptop and my iPad and I really like how it turned out. I'm just gonna get started. Um, I'm gonna kind of place them and and like placements that I think might work out. So obviously when it comes to creating a digital vision board it's a lot more easier to like manipulate the photos into fitting um, where you want them to so although i'm trying to like mimic the same style that i have on my digital vision board it might not be like 100 percent the same but that's okay while you do your vision board i usually like music in the background because it's gonna take a little while like look at this photo isn't that like just such a vibe so one photo that i didn't include in my digital a vision board but I saw on Pinterest as I was like downloading these photos again was a credit score I don't know about you but I do not have a perfect credit score and I am definitely trying to work towards it um, this actually turned out to be like a big photo so I don't even know if it's gonna fit but we're gonna try so in one of my previous videos I mentioned that I got into boxing and printed out this photo just because I'm really trying to keep that up. Honestly, it's like helped me so much with like my upper body strength. Um, I feel like when it comes to like my lower body, I've always like already had pretty good strength. So, you know, boxing has just helped with my upper body strength. I recently started taking um, spin class and that's really helped like my overall like body conditioning which is really good so one thing that I always notice other people do on their vision boards is that they'll add like a random girl to it to kind of give them motivation. I kind of want to leave that in the past. Like, I don't know if this is just me being conceited, but I printed out a picture of myself because in this picture, I just feel like a bad bee, and that is the energy that I'm trying to bring to myself all year. And so when I look at this photo, it's gonna remind me that, that this is me. And I felt good in this pic, and when I look at this pic, I feel good. If you have a picture of yourself where you just look hot as fuck, I recommend that you put it on your vision board just, you know, to give yourself that energy that you need every once in a while, especially when you're walking out that door. This is another photo of me where I just felt like that bitch, and so... I printed out both because I'm going to figure out which one I want to include on my vision board. I haven't decided yet. When it comes to my vision boards, I like to like kind of have fun with them. Obviously, I kind of try to follow like the border of myself here. Um, especially if you're like doing um, a frame, you know, you kind of want to put your pictures like where they fit and so um, being able to like cut them into smaller shapes kind of helps the process just a little bit because like if, if you print it out like 30 to 50 photos, like it's a lot easier to manipulate them on Canva versus in real life. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect because at the end of the day, it's going to look really cool. So fun fact, I've included a Range Rover in all of my vision boards since like four years ago. Um, 
Obviously, this last September, I bought my Mercedes GLA 250. Um, and that was just like one step closer to the Range Rover, if you know what I mean. Like, I, I think that like my end goal is a Range Rover, but buying that Mercedes was definitely like a big moment for me, don't get me wrong. Um, but, you know, I couldn't afford to get a Range Rover, so to me that was just the next best thing. Um, so yeah, when it comes to your vision board, if something doesn't come to life this year, be patient with yourself because obviously if you're working towards that, it's not going to happen overnight. Um, so, I mean, here I am four years later still adding a Range Rover to my vision board because best believe one of these days I'm going to buy it. I see you again, you know I'm making my way to your hands, you know I... So my boyfriend bought me this bottle of Pinot Grigio for Valentine's Day and I have to say, I think Pinot Grigio is like one of my favorite white wines at the moment. If you guys have any wine recommendations, definitely let me know because I'm always down to try a new wine. So along with like choosing photos that fit your aesthetic, I like to include like short little, um, you know, quotes or sayings just to add like a little pizzazz to your vision board. So for example, this one says, oh, you can't even see it, a new era of me. And I just think that really goes with like the whole vision board um, vibe, you know, because at the end of the day, creating a vision board is kind of like the blueprint of your, of what you're trying to accomplish. So look at it that way. And it really helps you when like choosing these photos that you want to include on your vision board. So I haven't started like taping down any photos just yet. I kind of want to cut my photos into the sizes that I'm like kind of envisioning for them. Well, some of all I did was rest, okay? And we is all I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day I had sex, okay? Well, see what's about to have it next, okay? So as you're cutting your um, vision board, start kind of like placing it where you think they might look best. That's what I'm trying to do at least. Taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. It's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? Okay, so now that I've cut everything up, let me show you. It's not 100% identical to my digital one, but I really like it so far. So now it's time for me to tape things into place. I've written my first manifestation behind the first photo. So what I'm doing to tape down these photos is just roll um, the tape into like a little ball so that way you can tape it to the back of the photo and it will also tape to the back of your poster. First photo down, 30 more to go. Not me almost forgetting to write behind a photo already. Okay, so now that we've created 
the physical vision board that you see right behind me. I'm gonna do a quick run through of what to do if you wanna do your vision board digitally. I'll let you guys open up your laptops, your iPads, your phone, um, whatever it is you want to create your vision board on. Um, and I'll have you guys open up Canva. I already have it opened up in front of me because I have Canva downloaded as an app. What you're gonna wanna do is create a design that's going to be towards the top right so usually when it prompts you to create a design it's going to give you a blank screen I know that when you look at a blank screen it can be a little intimidating as far as not knowing where to start but honestly all I have to say to that is trust the process it's kind of like starting a puzzle you have so many pieces to put together um and yes it's overwhelming but you gotta start somewhere next thing you're gonna want to do is open up pinterest um i have like the dual screen mode where it's like i'll have half the screen on canva half the screen on pinterest um but of course you could always toggle back and forth between the two i'll open up pinterest right now figure out what aspects you want to focus on for 2023 um, for example if you want to start with finances you could do like money aesthetic I don't know I like to just add the word aesthetic to anything I look up on Pinterest because I mean look I put money aesthetic and the photos that came out are honestly so cute any of these would look so cute on a vision board so I don't want to mess with my lighting too much um, by going back and forth between my iPad and like showing you guys. So um, yeah, I'm just again, I'm just going to walk you through it quickly. So pick a photo, you're going to click on the three dots and click on download image. You're going to want to do this for at least like 30 photos. I don't know, really, you don't necessarily have to have 30 because you can like resize and crop and do what you need to do but I worked with about 30 photos once you have your 30 pictures saved you're gonna want to go back to Canva to that blank page and you're gonna want to just dump all the photos in there so once you dump all the photos it's gonna look a little crazy um, but just go ahead and start like messing with the sizing have you can crop them if you need to um if you realize that you have like a color thing going on like mine was mainly like dark blue red green so if i'm realizing that like even the color scheme is just thrown off feel free to like swap photos um into something that will fit the color scheme that you're going for um that's just me because i'm a perfectionist when it comes to like putting something together but if you don't really care about like color schemes and you really just like the photo that you chosen and you want to stick with it that's cool too so um yeah really just mess with the photos move them where you see best fit some people with their um with their vision boards they do like their aspects kind of like gathered together doesn't really matter it's really up to you how you want to place them really get creative with your vision board make it your own um, and just keep messing with it until you think it's complete um, once you complete it you're going to want to click the save image and from there you can honestly save it as your screensaver to your ipad your laptop your phone um, I did my like work laptop and my personal iPad um, because I use those like almost on a daily basis and so again it just serves as a good reminder as to what my goals are for this year um, and well now I'm gonna have a physical reminder with my um, my framed vision board I think I've decided on framing it right next to like my mirror the one that like I use on a daily basis just so that way as I'm getting ready to head out the door um, and I check myself out one last time I also see my vision board and you know just go on about my day with those intentions that's it for today's video I really hope you enjoyed making your vision board with me um, if you didn't create one today 
I encourage you to have a vision board party with your close friends, your sister, your boyfriend, whoever it is, and just set your intentions for the year. It's never too late. It's still February, so we still have plenty of time to set our intentions for 2023. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye. I'm building a rich like John Jack. I'm camo.